I'm three weeks in with the Samsung Galaxy S4, and as usual, I continue to find things I like and things that I don't like so much about this device versus other industry heavyweights on the market, like the iPhone 5, the HTC One, and the LG Optimus G Pro. I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com, and day 21, we're talking about a wealth of things, from micro SD cards, to battery, to display, and more. Join me, and I'll tell you what I found out in three weeks with this device. I'm on day 21 with the Samsung Galaxy S4, so three full weeks with this device. And if you've been watching the entire series, I took it on vacation with me. It's gone through both some work trips and some personal trips, so I have a pretty unique perspective on this device after three weeks out of the full 30-day challenge. Now, I want to do some clarification of the previous video. In day 18, I talked about the storage space being almost full, and then it has a micro SD card slot, and I don't have a micro SD card and I really pissed off the Samsung fanboys. The point that I was trying to make, a couple of different points. One, this is a $199 device. It's AT&T 16 gigabyte Galaxy S4. Two, there's a, set, a 32 gigabyte version of the HTC One available for the same price. So you can either decide 16 gigabytes with expandable storage or 32 gigabytes on the HTC One with non-expandable storage. Now there are a couple of caveats to both. One, you can't store apps in the SD card here, so you can store pictures and videos and things like that, but the storage space is somewhat limited on this device, and AT&T is the only carrier right now that's offering the 32 gigabyte version of this device. On the HTC One side, the con, the con there that you get is it's non, or it's not expandable rather, so you can't put in an SD card and go. Once you reach 32 gigabytes on the One, you're stuck. That said, you can purchase from select outlets the 64 gigabyte version of it. So it's a trade-off as to what you want and what you find most important. Now, I should say I'm seeing a little bit of lag from time to time. The update addressed a lot of the lag while I was on vacation. What I'm thinking it is right now is I've got, like I said in the previous video, about 2,200 pictures. And I'm thinking it's because the storage space area is so full or close to being full that it's slowing down the overall performance when it has to kind of reach into the hard drive and pull something out. I see it when I'm searching for emails, for example, or something where I think it's just a little bit slow because of not having that SD card. So I'm going to try to pick it up. Work's been busy this week. I'm going to try to pick it up at some point by the end of the week. So we will do our best to get that in there and I'll shoot an update video. Overall, just want to talk though about some of the you know updates to this device, the software update, and then of course the battery, just little things, updates in general. And I should point out, this is not a review. This is more of a reality TV type series. This is me with 30 days with a device. If I scratch it, I can talk three videos about scratching it if I want to. This is strictly my experience with the Galaxy S4. So keep that in mind as you're watching this video. If you want more of a review format, check out our review, our dog fights, all the stuff we've done on the Galaxy S4. So battery life continues to be good here, 2,600 milliamp hour battery, it's removable, and I like the fact that it kind of presents a nice mid-range between the Galaxy S3 and the Note 2, not just in milliamp hours, but in overall use. Moderate to heavy use, I'm getting about half of what I would get, I shouldn't say half, a little bit less than what I'm getting on the Galaxy Note 2, but more than what I'm getting on the Galaxy S3. I can make it through the day and into the next day before this device requires a recharge, and as you can see, I'm at 97% right now. Pretty light use this morning, but I expect it to get heavier as I have have some conference calls this afternoon. I talked about this in the day 18 challenge update, but another thing I continue to be impressed with on the Galaxy S4, and my friends do as well, are the images and the way this phone takes pictures. I was over at a friend's house last night, and every time, and I was showing off some Hawaii pictures, and every time I brought up a picture, people were like, man, that phone takes some great pictures. So it's one thing when a phone reviewer says something, or you know, somebody that has experience in working with devices on a regular basis. It's another thing entirely where a mainstream consumer looks at something and immediately says, wow, that's incredible, and that's what I was seeing a lot of last night. Image quality is great, and then of course you can go directly to camera from the gallery and access your modes, which include drama, HDR, best photo, best face, sports, night, eraser, and more. Another thing I really like about this device, and I've talked about it from time to time in some of the challenge videos, for me, five inches is an awesome sweet spot for the display. I think, and this is the one issue I have with the HTC One, I think 4.7 inches, a bit too small for me, still perfectly manageable, but a bit too small for my personal use or my personal taste. I actually prefer the size of this, and that's something I loved about the HTC Droid DNA as well, because it's a big enough display where you can get some great content creation in, so watching YouTube to listening to music, drawing documents, but it's not too big like the 5.5 inch display on the Note 2 or the 4 inch display too small on the iPhone 5. It seems to be a nice balance and obviously that's subjective, it depends on what you like, but for me I think 5 inches is a great sweet spot because I can still hold it in my hand and it's still pocketable, but it's got you know a decent sized battery and obviously with the display size, content creation is quite good. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com, a couple more videos coming in the 30 day challenge. Will I keep it? Will I dump it? 
You gotta find out at the end of the challenge. In the meantime, I'm on Twitter at phone dog underscore Aaron on Facebook, facebook.com slash hi Aaron Baker. And I would love to hear from you as to what you'd like to see in the final challenge videos as we wrap this thing up and get to 30 days. Let me know. Phone dog's on Google Plus as well at phone dog.com slash Google Plus. Thanks for watching. More to come on this challenge as we round it out and get to the 30 day mark with the Galaxy S4. I'll see you next time.